some shit to tell you. Being embarrassed isn't real. It's fake. It's made up. It's all in your brain. We're talking about the embarrassment that you feel when, you know, you're trying something new. You're doing something you're not good at yet. You're doing something where you know that other people are way better than you are. Or you're doing something that you judge people for. So if you really stop and think about it, think about something that you've judged somebody for. And, and don't give me that bullshit that like, oh, I don't judge people, I don't judge people. No, no, no. Because, no, everybody judges people. If you're a bitch about it, that's one thing. If you're openly like, oh, I'm judging you because that, no, that's unacceptable. Everybody, you see something with your brain and you immediately form an opinion on it, that's a judgment. That's a form of judgment, okay? So don't even give me that bullshit like, oh, I don't judge people. Because no, everybody does. Everybody does. But it's whether you want to decide, oh, I'm going to take this judgment as a fact, or you say, this was my initial thought, but let me go into it with an open mind. That's the difference. So I don't want to hear it. Sit back and be like, okay, well, what is this actual, like, what is this feeling all about? That feeling of embarrassment literally is not real. It simply comes from you, you, being worried about what other people are going to think about whether people are gonna laugh at you, whether they're gonna judge you, whether people are gonna make fun of you. You're literally thinking that. You're preemptively saying, I'm scared because what if people laugh at me? What if people judge me? What if people make fun of me? What if people... It's not real. You're literally making it up in your brain. It's not like an actual thing that's happening. Say you wanna go take pictures, but you're all by yourself, so you need to set up your tripod and you're in public and you're afraid that somebody's gonna laugh at you or somebody's gonna make fun of you or come up to you and say something. First of all, imagine if somebody actually did come up to you and say something. That's weird. That's weird because how many times do you go out of your way to go tell somebody that what they're doing is embarrassing or weird? You probably don't. If you're a good person, you probably don't. You probably just look and say, oh, that person's doing that. And then you carry on with your day. We're allowed to be embarrassed for people that are so sad in themselves that they feel the need to take it on others. That's embarrassing, okay? Now, that's probably like, there's probably like a 2% chance that somebody comes up to you and says something nasty, something mean, something rude, okay? If somebody comes up to you and says anything, it's most likely gonna be out of admiration for you, out of respect for you, out of like, wow, I wish I could do that. There's probably a 2% chance that somebody comes up to you and says something like, wow, that's embarrassing of you. Like, no, they're probably not going to say that. And if they're the type of person that says that, literally, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, okay, no, I'm embarrassed for you that you're the kind of person that would say something to a stranger. Or not even to a stranger. But I'm embarrassed for you that you would go up to somebody that's minding their own business, doing something that they want to do, something that makes them happy, something that's not affecting anybody in the slightest. And you decide to put your two cents in, that's embarrassing for them. So now that we've established there's like literally a 2% chance of somebody actually going up to you and saying something, you're gonna let the thoughts, the things that people are thinking in their brain, the literal, the text script, the running dialogue in somebody else's mind that you can't hear, they can't even hear it, their inner voice is telling you. It's not being projected on a loudspeaker. You're gonna let what somebody else is thinking their imaginary little clouds in their brain you're gonna let someone you're gonna let what somebody else is thinking stop you from doing what you want to do no no unacceptable unacceptable like literally all i can say is like Think about your favorite singer or your favorite dancer or your favorite influencer, or your favorite content creator, whatever, your favorite actress. Like, think about their first time auditioning, their first time writing a song, their first time posting on the internet. Think about their first experience doing that. And think about all the people that they went to school with looking at that and being like, oh my God, like, who do they think they are? Like, this isn't gonna work. And then they blew up to the point where you know them and you love them. It's not embarrassing anymore, is it? No, because it worked. Why would you be embarrassed to do what makes you happy? Why would you be embarrassed to do something that you want to do? It's not real. Flip the script, okay? Like, what if you thought getting into your car to drive to work was embarrassing? Would you do it? You'd probably still do it because you have to do it. But imagine thinking that's embarrassing, okay? It's not. Like, you, you're like, cat. why the fuck would that be embarrassing? Like, that's so normal. Like, that's not embarrassing. Exactly. So now just pretend every other situation in your life is a necessity. Whatever you want to do, that's a necessity for you to be a happy person, for you to live a life that you want to live, okay? 
just the way that you getting in your car to go to work every morning, that's something you have to do to live. That's something you have to do to make money. That's something you have to do to pay your rent. That's something you have to do to put food on the table, okay? So if you want to go out and take pictures of yourself in public, just think of it as something you have to do it to make yourself happy. And then it's not embarrassing anymore. Things are only embarrassing if you let them be embarrassing. They're only embarrassing if you get embarrassed. This is the easiest example that I could give you, but think about your favorite singer. They probably were in mute, like they were probably in band or in chorus at school, right? And it's not scary when they're there because it's chorus. Everybody likes to sing in chorus. It's band. Everybody likes to play music in band. So when they're doing that stuff, when they're singing, when they're playing their instruments in those settings, it's not embarrassing because everybody else in that setting enjoys that same exact thing just the same as this person, right? So it's not embarrassing for them to sing in chorus because everybody else there likes to sing. Everybody else there appreciates singing. Same thing goes for band. Nobody's going to make fun of them for playing an instrument because it's band. Everybody there plays an instrument. But the minute they start doing that outside of that comfort zone of theirs, outside of chorus, outside of band, the minute they start doing that in front of people that have all different types of interests, all different widespread, you know, then it starts to get a little scarier because you're not in your bubble of like like-minded people anymore, you know? You're you're out there with, with opinions and judgments and other people to tell you that you're not good enough or, oh, you think you're whatever. But if it wasn't embarrassing here, then why is it embarrassing here? It's the same exact thing. Nothing about you has changed. Nothing about you doing what you love to do has changed from going here to here, right? No. The only thing that's changed is the people watching, the people listening. So why are you now embarrassed? If you're still doing what you want to do, you're still doing something that makes you happy, but now because you have a different audience, you're embarrassed, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Because when you're, when you're doing it here with these people, you're doing it because you love it, because you want to do it. You're not doing it to impress the people around you, right? When you're in chorus, because you love to sing, and you're singing with a bunch of people that love to sing, you're not doing it to impress everybody else in the chorus. You're just doing it because you love to sing, and this is where you go if you love to sing, right? So then you get out of chorus practice, and you start videotaping yourself singing, and you post it on the internet. And now you feel embarrassed because you have all these different opinions about you. You have all these different people saying, oh, you're not good enough, you're not gonna make it, blah, 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 all this. People just being mean. What change? You sing in chorus because you love to sing. You sing in front of a camera and you upload it on the internet because you love to sing. But now that you're getting all this feedback of people, now you don't want to do it. So what changed? You, when you're here, you do it because you love singing. But now that there's opinions and people putting you down, you're doing it for them, essentially, because you're going to let what they're saying, what they're thinking, you're going to let them stop you from what you want to do, from what you love to do. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. I don't even know how to explain this. Like, just nothing's embarrassing unless you let it be embarrassing. Like me, I post on TikTok, I post on the internet, right? I'm sure I have people that I went to high school with or that, you know, whatever, that know me, that look at what I'm doing and they're like, oh my God, that's so lame. Like, she's trying to do this, she's trying to do that doesn't affect me at all whatsoever absolutely not because why the fuck would it because they're not saying it to me they're not saying it directly to me and even if they were okay that's embarrassing of you to take time out of your day to leave your opinion on my life even though you claim to say i'm bad or whatever you know what i mean like i'm sure you guys have all walked past somebody in public before playing music for tips what do you do? You usually, at least for me, I've always just appreciated the music and maybe left them a tip. I've never been like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing that they're doing that in public. Like, no, it's not. Like kudos to them because they're, they're brave enough to go out and be in public and do what makes them happy and maybe get some money on the way, you know? Like, why is that embarrassing? It's not. It's just somebody doing what makes them happy. That there's nothing embarrassing about that. Just literally think of anything you want to do that you think is embarrassing as a daily normal interaction as human. Okay, because all you're worried about is people looking at you and judging you. And when you're in a public setting and you're doing everything that everybody else is doing, 
there's nothing weird about it. There's nothing for people to look at. There's nothing for people to be like, oh, that's different. That's weird. I'm going to make fun of that. That's embarrassing. No, because it's just everyday normal stuff, right? Yeah, that's easy. But then the minute you start doing something that's maybe a little bit out of the norm or like something that you just usually want to see, people are going to look. If you're at a restaurant and you have your phone set up to take pictures, people are going to look at you because you're at a restaurant taking pictures. Whereas everybody else in this restaurant is eating food, having conversation, but you're here taking pictures. Does that immediately mean they're judging you, they're laughing at you, they're making fun of you? No, it just simply means that they're like, my attention is drawn here because this is something different that you don't see every day. That's all it is. Like literally just think about how you go out in public and act. Like think about if you saw somebody in a restaurant taking pictures, you would probably just be like, oh, okay, like they're taking pictures. And then you'd carry on. Not everybody is looking at you. And even if they are, you have to be okay with that. Because if you want to do anything incredible in life, like people are going to take notice. Typically, anything you want to do that makes you happy is something that people are going to take notice of. No matter what it is, no matter what field it is, no matter what situation it is, no matter what it is, somebody, a small group of people, a big group of people, millions of people, four people, somebody's going to take notice of it if you're doing something that makes you genuinely happy. Because when you do the shit that makes you genuinely happy, you you just have a different energy about you you're doing something that makes you happy so of course people are gonna be like wow like you're doing something that makes you happy that's awesome so of course people are gonna take attention to you so instead of instead of seeing yourself getting that attention getting those eyes from people instead of seeing that as like oh no i'm embarrassed like people are looking at me i'm shy like don't just be like people are just admiring me doing something that makes me happy and i would do the same thing because i admire when people do things that make them happy so what's the difference? You have to be okay. Like switch your mind. It's not embarrassing. You're not getting made fun of. You're not getting judged. You're not getting, and even if you are, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? Cause at the end of the day, all that is is one person having a thought about you and then they're gonna carry on with their day. And maybe later when they go home, will they tell them, oh, I saw this girl doing X, Y, Z in public today. Oh really? That's, that's weird. Yeah. Anyway, what do you want for dinner tonight? That's probably the extent of any conversation that would ever happen. And it doesn't affect you at all because you will never know about it. You will never, ever fucking hear about what this random stranger thought of you. We're in the age where like people post on the internet and people are putting themselves out there in many different ways. Okay. So you, if you want to talk about, you know, getting embarrassed because you're getting comments, you're getting comments left on your videos, you're getting comments left on your pictures of people saying like, oh, that's really weird. Oh, I hate your outfit. Let me set the scene for you. So say that I was wearing this outfit and I was out in public and I took a picture of it and I posted it on the internet and I'm getting all these comments like oh your outfit's so ugly like oh your hair you're so stupid like what a stu all that right now just imagine just go just flip it in your brain think of that situation happening in real life think about me sitting in this outfit in public and a bunch of strangers one at a time walk up to me I think your outfit's ugly I think your hair looks stupid I think, I think you would look better if you did this. I would literally just sit there and be like, wow, how fucking embarrassing for you to be the type of person that would come up to a complete stranger and leave your stupid little two cents on my life. Cause you don't know a goddamn thing about me. You don't know what I do. You don't know who I am. You don't know how I like. Um, did you also forget that people have different opinions? People are allowed to be different than you. People are allowed to like different things than you do. Like just imagine that scenario playing out in real life. You literally can't because how weird would that be? How weird would that be? Stop being embarrassed. It's not real, okay? All I need you to take from this is that being embarrassed is quite literally just being scared of other people's thoughts. Literally, why would you be scared of other people's thoughts? Thoughts aren't real. Thoughts stay in your brain. Like, you have no idea what I'm thinking about right now. I can literally I can literally be thinking about the stupidest shit right now and you would never know because they're in my brain and they could never leave my brain unless I express them out in words. In which I personally think, if you're the type of person that sees somebody and you're like, oh, I hate her outfit, and you go up and tell her, oh, I hate your outfit, you're a miserable fucking person. And I feel bad for you. I'm not offended by you. I feel bad that you're the type of person that would take the time out of their day to go try to put somebody else down. When in reality, it's just 
oh, you're that sad all the time that you need to go bring others down to your level because you're lonely? Embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's the only time embarrassment is real. So don't let the little fucking words that stay inside people's brains, don't let those stupid little non-existent real, like, thoughts aren't real. Thoughts aren't real until you make them real. My thoughts to you are fake because you don't know what they are. You can't, you don't see them, you don't hear them. So don't fucking let what people are thinking, what they might say, stop you from doing what you need to do, from what you want to do. As long as you're not hurting yourself, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Because being embarrassed isn't real. Okay? Embarrassment is fake. And that's all I have to say. That is all I have to fucking say, okay? It's embarrassing that you're still embarrassed to do what makes you happy. So stop. Fucking grow up. And go do the shit that makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the fucking day, we're all just people. We're all just people. And everybody at one point in their life has been embarrassed at one point or the other. Nobody's above anybody. Nobody's below anybody. We're all just fucking humans, all right? So just go live your life for you and not for anybody else. And just embarrassment isn't real. It's just simply not real. Okay? Okay. So on that note, I hope you guys have a good fucking day.